I've decided it's time for me to do another tour of the enclosure. I've been getting an awful lot of questions from people as to how I'm keeping the kitties in and am I worried about them getting out? Am I worried about neighbor cats getting in? So let's go take a look. This is the big tree that you saw Sahara up in an earlier video. This is the one tree they're allowed to climb. And as you can see, it's between the two houses. My house is the blue and the tan is the neighbor house. I keep the tree well trimmed away from the houses on both sides. Approaching the uh, cat door. This is a new cat door installed just this past winter. The other one was uh, starting to deteriorate. So this looks a little different than the, from the last tour. It's right next to the gate that leads out to the front of the house. And this gate is where our kit starts. As you can see, I had to install a little wing out, be a little creative to make sure that there was no gap. I had a hard time getting the bracket to go right up against the house. So I installed a little wing. And then this is the second kit on the fence that I've used on this fence. It has better brackets. The um, bracket that you see on the left there is actually from the older kit. There's Kalahari down there. And the gate opens without any trouble and then closes. As you can see, the brackets come way out in and they go quite high. So cats from the outside are not going to stand on top of the fence and just leap out into the middle of nowhere. And my cats will come up against the netting and they can't climb any higher. There's a tree right here uh, that I did not want to cut down. I cut down a number of trees when I put this kit in, but this tree I decided to keep and I installed the bracket right on the tree. So far that's worked well. As the tree gets bigger I may have to reevaluate that. Over here up against the neighbor's house, you can see the bracket is installed right up next to the wall. So there's no gap there. No kitty can get in or out. One of the things you have to consider if you have cats that are not free roam outside is uh, kitty loo. I used to have a pit just dug here and filled it with sand and, or non-clumping litter. Over a number of years, uh, the ammonia odor began to become overwhelming and I couldn't get rid of it. So I decided I had to put a box in there. I actually have two boxes out here for the cats. They do use other areas of the yard, but this encourages them to use places that I want them to use. There's Simbacon. That was Kalahari on top of the little cabin, which they do use sometimes. We've got a little pond. Just sluice it out with the hose, keep it clean, and treat it with chlorine every now and then. Now this is the neighbor's house, and you can see where the brackets come around and meet up against the house again and right up against the fence at this end of the yard. It's a fairly easy kit to install. Now this tree um, is actually too close to the fence. A cat could uh, theoretically get up this tree and then get out. It's also a very tall tree, dangerous tree for a cat to be climbing. So there's this little inverted cone. Here we have Sahara demonstrating a kitty. She's so clever. So the cats cannot get out. And neighbor cats can't jump over onto that tree either. They never have. This um, is installed full length at the back. And then along the side, and here you can see it up against my house on the other side. Once again, I'm using one of the old bracket from the previous kit. These brackets are kind of, were kind of rickety, but they were easy to bend, so I could bend it right around this pipe here. And I, since it's my house and I can put screws in the side, I screwed it right up against the side there with the netting.
That's it.